Uh, example number four, we have this double integral of 4x cube y dA. Uh, however, the region R right here this time it's given a little different. So a little, it's given in a little different way because this time for the previous example we have four order pairs that together form a square. You know, well like a, um, a 45 degree rotated square. But this time, uh, what do we have? We have in this case, or oh, there is a li okay. Uh, I think I have a little typo here as well. So this should say y varying then, okay, this one right here should be y greater than or equal to x and less than or equal x plus 6, okay, there's a little typo here, so that's the whole thing here, okay. So yes, well the x coordinate varies between 0 and 3, that's fine, however, the y coordinate is varying differently this time. So let's sketch the region. So this time we have y varying between x, that is the diagonal line, y equals to x, and y equals to x plus 6, which is the same diagonal line but shifted 6 units up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's, uh, that's this diagonal line. And for x is varying between, so 1, 2, 3. So that's between 0 and 3. Okay, so it's, oh, come on. Much better. All right. So this is our region R that we want to integrate over. So this is, let's label this as R, which is X and Y. And well, so this time we're going to figure out the limits in a more straightforward way because, well, n notice the substitutions that they are proposing us to, to use. X equals to 3U and Y equals to 6V plus 3U. So we're going to take advantage that one of the proposed substitutions contain only one single variable, I mean only one single term or one single variable as opposed to the previous example that both x and y were functions of u and v. In this case x is only a function of u and we're going to take advantage of that. So in this case let's start with zero with the first bound for the bound for, for x. So, 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3, but we know that x equals to 3u. From here, dividing the three sides of the inequality by 3, that means 0 less than or equal u, less than or equal to 1. So we got the limit with respect u. What about, for, what about for the limit for y, which would be in this case v? Well, so that second condition for which I had the typo, I have it corrected here, so that means that is x less than or equal y less than or equal x plus 6, and in this case we're going to substitute this x equals 3u here and here but we will substitute y equals to 6v plus 3u. Okay, so that's x, which is 3u, less than or equal 6v plus 3u, less than or equal x, which is 3u, plus, oh, just 3u, plus 6, actually, plus 6, all right? Well, so for the first inequality, our goal was to leave the u in the middle. So this time our goal is to leave the v in the middle. So let's, number one, subtract 3u on the three sides of the inequality. That is, I'm going to, sub I'm going to subtract 3u, 3u, 
three U. That's going to cancel a lot of it. And that's going to turn into zero less than or equal six V less than or equal six. And dividing both sides by six, that's V varying between zero and again one. So in this case, no need to do the weird substitutions that we did in the previous example because we can do the substitution within the, the inequalities themselves. So that means that the region S, which is a region of U and V, so that is the transformation which goes from X, Y to U and V, that's going to go like that's going to be called S this time, and uh, so that's R to S, that's U, that's V, and well, what do we have? U varying between 0 and 1. Again, we're going to have a unit squared, isn't it? Which will be a lot simpler to integrate than this, um, than this like tilted plane, right? So. What else do we need to do? Oh yes, we need to uh, find we need to find the Jacobian. So for the Jacobian J of U V of U and V, so that's the partial derivative of X with respect U. For the first row, the partial of X with respect to V. For the second row is a partial of Y with respect to V and the partial of Y with respect uh, V. I mean with respect U first and then with respect V. Okay, so let's take the partial of X with respect to U. Isn't that a 3? partial of x with respect to v, notice x doesn't have any, b, any v, so the derivative will be 0. The partial of y with respect to u, that's a 6. The partial derivative of y with respect to v, that's a 3. And evaluate the determinant right here to get, well, 3 times 3. And, I mean, hold on. I got them reversed, right? 3 and 6, yes. 3 times 6, which is 18, minus 0 times 3, which is 0. Well, this is going to be 18. And well, in this case, no need to find any absolute value because um, it's a positive number. Again, if you get a negative number out of the Jacobian or a negative quantity out of the Jacobian, just change the sign to positive. So I think we're ready to set up the integral. And that's uh, the integral double integral over the region R, x cubed, y, dA, that will become the double integral over the new region, uh, well, number one, x, in terms of u and v, is 3u, so that's going to be our 3u quantity cubed, and y, which is 6v plus 3u. And dA will become, which used to be dx dy, will become du dv. But again, I left a space for the correction factor, which in this case is given by the Jacobian determinant, that is 18. Well, let's simplify the integral just a little bit. So, oh, the limits are going to go from 0 to 1 for both integrals, right? So, which one? There was a four. Uh, oh, you know what? It's a typo. It's a typo. No, it's there's not supposed to be a four right here. All right? Because I, I think I copied and pasted from the previous example, so it's just x cubed y. All right? So yes. So that's a 3 squared, which is 27, u squared equals 27, that's from 0 to 1, and from 0 to 1, that's 27, u cubed, 6v plus 3u, times 18, du, dv. And simplifying this a little bit should give us the integral from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, 
and that's uh, 29 and 16, 2916 u cubed v plus 1458 u to the fourth du dv. All right? And after simplifying, after evaluating this double integral, should give us 656.1. Right, and again, this is just general power rule with respect to u, evaluate from between 0 and 1, and then whatever we get, integrate it with respect to v, general power rule, and fundamental theorem of calculus. All right?